If you're looking for the best weeding tool here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have Radius Garden Ergonomic Aluminum Hand Weeder. Hands tire quickly and grip strength is one of the first things to go when weeding in dense soil. The curved handle on the radius weeder helps keep your hand and wrist aligned as you push the serrated aluminum tool next to the root and lift the weed out. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Fiskar's Big Grip Garden Knife. Not only is the Fiskar's Big Grip Garden Knife a weeder, but it also has several added features that make it a great multi-purpose tool for raised beds and smaller spaces with loose soil. A notch tip at the end of the blade penetrates soil to lift weeds, roots and all. Made of rust-resistant cast aluminum, the knife has a sharpened blade on one side for slicing and a serrated one on the other side for cutting through tough roots. It's also effective at cutting open bags of soil, lifting seedlings for transplant, and cutting rows into soil for direct sowing of seeds. The thick padded grip minimizes hand fatigue. The number 8 position is held by Zenport K111. What of those irritating weedy bits that grow in the crevices of your driveway? The crack-dwelling dandelions in the sidewalk or along your curb? There's an option for that. This L-shaped carbon steel blade from Zenport gets into those tight areas. Depending on how it's used, you can pop weeds out of the gap, or you can cut them cleanly off. This isn't meant for use in your garden beds, of course. But it really is useful if you find yourself cursing the infernal weeds along your walkways. Definitely worth the investment. Next at number 7 we have Garden Weasel Garden Claw Pro. Have you ever wished you had something that loosened the soil enough to let you just take the weeds off? If so, you're going to want a Garden Claw Pro. The times are adjustable, allowing you to work in both tight spaces and large ones. You can use it to cultivate or till the soil, to aerate, or just to loosen up the weeds. I use an older iteration of this, one which isn't adjustable. But if this had been available when I got mine, I would have jumped at the chance. I've used one since and they're positively lovely, especially with tougher rocky soils. This will not pluck the weeds from the soil for you, but it will make it easy enough for you to just pick them off the surface. And sometimes that's all you need. This makes it quick and easy to prep for spring planting. The number 6 position is held by ARS Weeding Sickle. In the realm of cutting tools, we've got an interesting traditional model. Some people swear by a Nijiri Sama or Japanese Weeding Sickle. These super sharp tools can be used both for digging and cutting. Much like the Cobra Head model we talked about above, the tip can be used to pop weeds out or to loosen up the soil. In addition, the sharp edge can be used to slice out segments of weed-ridden sod. They're extremely effective at weed removal. It takes a little practice to get used to this old-fashioned tool and how it's used. But once you've familiarized yourself with it, it's a wonderful addition to the toolbox. The number 5 position is dominated by Edward Tools Weeding Tool. Searching for the best dandelion removal tool? Sometimes traditional is the best choice. This straight, forked tongue offering from Edward Tools is fantastic. They've added a curved surface to the side of the shaft which allows you to pry stubborn tough weeds out. The forked tongue will hook around the root mass and prevent it from slipping away. It also doubles as a digging fork, allowing you to loosen up the soil before you pry the weeds out. There are no miracles to be had with this garden tool. It still may require a little bit of arm strength for stubborn roots in dry soil. But it's much sturdier than a normal straight version, and the curve provides leverage. If you can only pick one dandelion puller, this would be my recommendation. Moving on to the next at number 4 with Radius Garden 102. If you're dealing with clay-type soils, the serrated edges of the Radius Garden cut through them. But don't turn away from it if you don't have clay, those with looser soil will love it too. Because of the unique curvature of the ergonomic handle, it's easy to use. Press it straight into the soil next to the weed's root, and then use the curved handle to help loosen the soil. 
the weed will pop out, root and all. This is also great in tight spaces between other plants in a garden bed. If something is invading your flower beds, you can use this to loosen up the soil and remove just the invader. There's little chance of destroying your other plants if used right. The number 3 position is held by Flexrake CLA-105. Sometimes the roots of a weed can really be difficult to extricate. This is especially true of hard-packed dry soils or rocky soil where a standard weeder just won't do. Enter the Flexrake CLA-105 hand tiller. On one side, you have a cultivator fork with extra long tines. It's perfect for working into a thatch of weeds and prying them from the ground. On the other, you've got a narrow hoe blade, which can cut or loosen the solid, hard soil. While it's not a conventional weed remover, i found this to be absolutely essential. I've used it to pry up all manner of annoying weeds. It's also a godsend when it comes to dealing with sunbaked, hard-as-concrete patches of soil. Next at number 2 we have Cobra Head Original Weeder Slash Cultivator. This weed puller tool is pretty uncommon at your local big box store. It really shouldn't be. The Cobra Head Weeder design enables you to push the shovel-shaped head down next to the weed, then just give it a push or a tug. The weed's roots will pop right up. This is great for many types of deep-rooted weeds, but it won't work as well on shallow root systems. I find this to be wonderful on many of the more annoying wild lettuces in my yard, and it's a great dandelion tool. The shovel-like tip can be used as a single-time cultivator. Scrape out newly sprouted weeds, or use it to work fertilizer into the soil surface. It also comes in handy when planting a row of seeds. If you find you've got a really stubborn root, use the head to loosen up the soil around the weed. Then hook the curve underneath the root and give it a good upward tug. The root should pop right out. Overall, I really like the Cobra Head Weeder design. Finally the number one position is dominated by Fiskars 394 Claw Weeder. If you're like me and you're getting older, crawling around on your hands and knees to weed can be a challenge. But there's options to help with that too. Fiskars has developed this handy four claw weeder. Position it over top of the weed. Using the stump pedal, you'll cause the tool to grab the weed at its root, and then you can pull it up easily. A quick sliding motion causes the ejector to spit out the now-removed plant and its roots. There are many other variations of this out there, but I like the Fiskars model for its four claws. That provides plenty of grip for the weed extraction. It's also easy to use even for kids, and the price is good. This will leave a divot in the ground where the weed used to be. If it's in a garden bed, just shift some soil over. Weeding the lawn? Take a handful of compost or good soil and fill it in. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.